हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम टू आ न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ फोक टेल्स ऑफ बंगाल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू स्टोरी द फर्स्ट इंस्टॉलमेंट ऑफ अ न्यू स्टोरी एंड वी आर टेकिंग दिस स्टोरी फ्रॉम फोक टेल्स ऑफ बंगाल रिटन बाय रिवरेंट लाल बिहारी दे एंड दिस बुक वाज पब्लिश्ड बाय मैकमिलन एंड कंपनी लिमिटेड सेंट मार्टिन स्ट्रीट लंडन and it was published this book was published in the year of 1912 uh, the first edition of this book was published in the year 1883 if i am not wrong yes 1883 so let's start uh, we are going to see we are going to uh, read a new story and what is the name of the story the ghost brahman okay so what is the brahman actually as per the sanatan dharma or as uh, or most popularly known as hindu uh, hindu religion all people are segregated or separated or distinguished as per their their work into four sects they are brahman kshatriya vaishya and sudra what is brahman those people who are uh, who are mostly not mostly who are related with who are in, uh, involved in teaching who are involved in scriptures uh, who are involved in uh, worshiping and uh, who are uh, actually nuns or monks they are regarded as brahmans next the kshatriya kshatriya are the manpower who are there to protect the population usually as they have the most muscle power they became the became the king of the society or the leaders of the society the next uh, next genre or the next sect is vaishya who uh, those people who are uh, who are engaged in business in different kind of business but business and the last genre is known as shudra who are most uh, mostly regarded or who are mostly uh, devoted themselves in the farming or in the sense of um, farming or nursing in the society or doing all other kind of chores in the society so this four sects was preliminary and most uh, commonly assigned Uh, uh, assigned by the work or the profession of the person but slowly it was de- uh, uh, degraded into the by birth by birth if your father is a brahman you as you uh, you are born in their uh, their house or uh, in their um, a family so you are also brahman it became it get modified or dig, uh, degraded into this kind of uh, nepotism but actual the actual custom was that as per your uh, your job you get assigned to a caste so let's start today the story is the ghost brahman once on a time there lived a poor brahman who not being a uh, kulin found it the hardest thing in the world to get married he went to rich people and begged of them to give him money that he might marry a wife and a large sum of money was needed not so much for the expenses of the wedding as for giving to the parents of the bride he begged from door to door flattered many rich folk and at last succeeded in scraping together the sum needed the wedding took place in a in due time and he brought home his wife to his mother after a short time he said to his mother mother i have no means to support you and my wife i must therefore go to distant countries to get money sh- somehow or other i may be away for years for i won't return till i get a good sum in the meantime i'll give you what i have you make the best of it and take care of my wife the brahman 
receiving his mother's blessing set out on his travels in the evening of that very day a ghost assuming the exact appearance of the brahman came into the house the newly married woman thinking it was her husband said to him how is it that you have returned so soon you said you might be away for years why have you changed your mind the ghost said today is not a lucky day i have therefore returned home besides i have already got some money the mother did not doubt but that it was her son so the ghost lived in the house as if he was its owner and as if he was the son of the old woman and the husband of the young woman as the ghost and the brahman were exactly like each other in everything like to peas the people in the neighborhood all thought that the ghost was the real brahman after some years the brahman returned from his travels and what was his surprise when he found another like him in the house the ghost said to the brahman who are you what business have you to come to my house who am i replied the brahman let me ask who you are this is my house that is my mother and this is my wife the ghost said why herein is a strange thing everyone knows that this is my house that is my wife and yonder is my mother and i have lived here for years and you pretend this is your house and that woman is your wife your head must have got turned brahman so saying the ghost drove away the brahman from his house the brahman became mute with wonder he did not know what to do at last he bethought himself of going to the king and of laying his case okay here see this is a picture where where our uh, mother and the wife is seeing the brahman who has returned back very soon so okay let's dig into the next where we left where we have left okay uh, at last the uh, uh, at last he bethought himself of going to the king and of la- laying his case before him the king saw the ghost brahman as well as the brahman and the one was the picture of the other so he was in a fix and did not know how to decide the quarrel day after day the brahman went to the king and besought him to give him back his house his wife and his mother and the king not knowing what to say every time put him off to the following day every day the king tells him to come tomorrow and every day the brahman goes away from the palace weeping and striking his forehead with the palm of his hand and saying what a wicked world this is i am driven from my own house and another fellow has taken possession of my house and of my wife and what a king this is he does not do justice now it came to pass that as the brahman went away every day from the court outside the town he passed a spot at which a great many cowboys used to play they let the cows graze on the meadow while they themselves met together under a large tree to play and they played at royalty one cowboy was elected king another prime minister or wazir another kotwal or perfect or prefect of the police and others constables every day for several days together they saw the brahman passing by weeping one day the cowboy king asked his wazir whether he knew why the brahman wept every day on the we- on the wazir not being able 
to answer the question the cowboy king ordered one of his constables to bring the brahman to him one of them went and said to the brahman the king requires your immediate attendance the brahman replied what for i just i have just come from the king and he put me off till tomorrow why does he want me again it is our king that wants you our nithard king rejoined the constable who is nithard king asked the brahman come and see was the reply the nithard king then asked the brahman why he every day went away weeping the brahman then told him his sad story the nithard king after hearing the whole said i understand your case i will give you again all your rights only go to the king and ask his permission for me to decide your case the brahman went back to the king of the country and begged his majesty to send his case to send his case to the nithard king who had offered to decide it the king whom the case had greatly puzzled granted the permission out the following morning was fixed for the trial the nithard king who saw through the whole brought with him next day a fi- a file with a narrow neck the brahman and the ghost brahman both appeared at the bar after a great deal of examination of witness and of speech making the nithard king said well i have heard enough i will decide the case at once here is this file whichever of you will enter into it shall be declared by the court to be the rightful owner of the house the title of which is in dispute now let me see which of you will enter the brahman said you are a nithard and your intellect is that of a nithard what man can enter into such a small file if you cannot enter said the nithard king then you are not the rightful owner what do you say sir to this turning to the ghost brahman and addressing him if you can enter into the file then the house and the wife and the mother become yours of course i will enter said the ghost and true to his word to the wonder of all he made himself into a small creature like an insect and entered into the file the nithard king forthwith forthwith corked up the file and the ghost could not get out then addressing the brahman the nithard king said throw this file into the bottom of the sea and take possession of your house wife and mother the brahman did so and lived happily for many years and beget sons and daughters so my dear friends uh, today in the first episode actually we have completed this story this is a very um, unique story and i think uh, many of you from different parts of world and also from different parts of india you have heard the story in a different form in a different uh, texture but uh, today you have heard the source of the story so from this we can see that faking anything doesn't mean that you are that you have to be true to yourself that will give you the honesty and which will uh, which will pay you off with a great reward of mind satisfaction your uh, and satisfaction towards your soul and with a happy smile so with this i am concluding today's story here my story ended the natiya throne withered so i am going to say the rhyme in bengali amar kotha ti furolo নোটে গাছটি মরল কেন রে নোটে মরলি গরুতে কেন ঘাস খায় কেন রে গরু ঘাস খাস রাখাল কেন খড় দেয় না কেন রে রাখাল খড় দেশ না বউ কেন ভাত দেয় না কেন রে বউ ভাত দেশ না রাখাল কেন রে বউ ভাত দেশ না খোকা কেন কাঁদে কেন রে খোকা কাঁদিস পিঁপড়ে কেন কামড়ায় কেন রে পিঁপড়ে কামড়াস 
quote 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 so this is the story this is the end of the story for today so we will see what will uh, happen we will start uh, another story tomorrow so till then be safe be happy be jolly and tada